Hello everyone, Pokemon Master Breeder here, back for another exciting episode of Pokemon Yellow and Nuzlocke Moon. Last time we made it to Vermilion City and took on the SSM, getting ourselves the HM cut. This time I will go immediately go find a Pokemon to teach it because I just realized I forgot to do that. There we go, and now Ah, well I have to go to names. Anyways, now streaming is cut. Uh, so something about Generation 1, you never, ever, 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 ever want to teach your Pokemon an HM move. Unless you want it to know that move forever. Because there is no move deleter in Generation 1. Once you stick an HM on your Pokemon, that move is a permanent part of its moveset for the rest of its life. Unless you send it to Johto. I think Johto has a move deleter. Anyways. Hello, sir. Yo, champ in the making. Lieutenant Serge has nickname. You refer to him as the Lightning American. In case anyone thought I was joking, there it is. <laughs> He's a an extra on electric Pokemon, birds and water Pokemon, a risk beware of paralysis too. Lieutenant Surge is very cautious. You have to break code to get to him. Uh, code is a strong word. Alright, what do you have to say for yourself, random schmuck number one? This is no place for kids. Don't children always come on these adventures? Oh, there is. Let's see. Ha, nothing. Weak. Feeble. <laughs> so as I said in another fight, but probably got cut, uh... Sand Slash's main thing is that they have really high defense, so the, the scariest thing in this gym for them is self-destruct, which... As you can see, <laughs> was very scary. It did less damage than they would with Sonic Boom. That was only 16 damage, and Sonic Boom doesn't even 20, so yeah. S Sonic Boom is actually the scariest thing in this gym for Sandy. Oh no. Oh no. There's two things to oh no about. One, this puzzle, which we'll talk about uh, when we get back from healing. Gotta say, one of the most underrated uh, quality of life improvements in later games is the ability to just press A on something that uses an HM to be able to use it. And I'll have to go into the menu. Anyway, what do you guys say? said double lock. Use a hit. When you open the first lock, the second lock is right next to it. Me, get out of the way. <laughs> okay, I'll talk. Dancer says he had door switches inside is something. The door won't open. It's just always cautious. Anyways, uh, we have to look in all these trash cans. For a, uh... The thing. There's, there's no set place for them to be. It's randomized every time. And even if you know the hint, Hey, there's a switch. Unless you're really lucky. Right. I don't think it works even if you're lucky. So basically, it's here, here, or here. And hopefully, it's in this one or the top one, because I already checked the left one. But I think it may actually. Just, I think the second one may not appear until you press the first one. And they reset. Uh, so basically they, they, they made these uh, buckets have colors in Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. And they use that for extra hints to help you figure actually be able to figure out. Basically, this is not a puzzle. This is just random luck. Even if you like do it perfectly, you like like the best you can hope for is like if it doesn't reset, you like check this one and then you'll check this one 
and if you're lucky then that'll happen, but usually the best you can hope for is like a 50% chance that you'll get it, and that's not a puzzle, that's just random luck. And and then the Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, they added the colors, so there it's actually a genuine puzzle, and people complain because they made it too easy, quote unquote, even though they literally just made it an actual puzzle instead of making it random chance. And there's a switch. Nope. Anyways, we'll be here for a while. Or I will. Okay, yeah, I'm pretty sure I checked every bin around this before checking it. And it just not appeared, so yeah. The second switch doesn't appear to hit the first one, so best you can hope for is a 50% chance, and here there's only a 25% chance that I'll randomly do it. Woo! We're gonna be here for a while, kids. Yeah, so... If it doesn't appear... After... If it is there the whole time, that should be this one. Oh, there it is. So I may have missed it, but I pray I may have missed one. I'm pretty sure I hit all four of these and then hit this one. And <laughs> something something doesn't work out. Anyways, here's a tent surge. Ten hun, welcome to the million gem. We look at <laughs> you look at that. A pint-sized challenger. Haha, you got Big and brassy nerves to take me on with your puny power. Pokemon battles and war. I'll show you, civilian. Hmm. I'll shock you into surrender. Alright, a chance surge. I don't know if he's easier and harder in this game. Because he just has one Pokemon, but you know, the way Pokemon games work is the less Pokemon they have, the higher level they are. <laughs> you may know that <laughs> I'm under level all of a sudden. But I'm pretty sure his Raichu's only level 24. In... Can you hit me? Is it like the anime and you only have electric moves? I think it may be like the anime and he only has electric moves. Anyways. Um, this is bullying, this, it's illegal that they made me beat up a ratchet like this. On the bright side, Sandy's learning poison sting? Do I have any moves that completely suck? Because this only kind of sucks. Let's make the poison. What is weak to poison? My brain only tells me grass and fairy. Anyways, I'm gonna move the grass types, which are mostly oops. Poison type in this game and therefore not weak to it. And also strong against Sandy, so I'm not sending them out against him. Oh my lord. I hate this yes and no stuff. There you go. It's a <laughs> Whoa! You're the real deal, kid. Fine then, take the Thunder Badge. <clears throat> like, it's good that they don't because I have a very strong tendency to misclick stuff in these old games where it doesn't have any confirmation before it gives you the selections. But also that very fact is making me hit the wrong thing a lot. Had just going back and forth <laughs> in the Are you sure? Are you positive? Sure you're positive <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so the badge cranks up Pokemon speed. And that's what your Pokemon fly 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 fly. Is fly that close? It might be. You're special good, take this. What is it? I think that's Thunderbolt. Oh, yeah. There's a nice one. Teaching an electric Pokemon kid. Yeah, well, my only electric Pokemon already knows it, so.
Anyways. What there is next to do is catch the two Pokemon that are out to the right and then head back up to Cerulean because that's where the next path is. So what do you say I meet, I meet you all, the two Pokemon, and then back at Cerulean? Oh my lord. <laughs> oh my lord. Ha, you fool. Take that. Ah, oh, sorry, he's dead trio. Woo! <laughs> I forgot uh, for a moment. I t for a temporary moment, I forgot that, um... Oh, he did. Uh, high crit chance moves. <laughs> Almost always crit. That was dangerous. So anyways, hi! I just casually caught my new strongest teammate. If I didn't already have a sense, slash... That'd be pretty... You know, human triplets that can burrow over 60 miles per hour do this. Some people think it's an earthquake. A bit slower than the speed of light that they say... Diglett can pull their head down at in the anime, although to be fair, that's not digging, that's pulling their head back down the hole they already made. But also, I don't think anyone believes they're actually moving at the speed of light. Anyways, what should we name Dugtrio? Perfect. Well, that's a, that's that's a, if Sandy dies, that's a good option. Dupes. 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 Here we go. It's a shame we're catching it like exactly as. I like the, the, this is like the exact point Ruchata slash Raticate are gonna start being not as good as they would be. But what's on my team? Uh, yep. Hmm. Uh, hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Check something real quick. Okay. Uh. Unfortunately, I looked at how Zubat's looking. Ah, nice. Ah, okay. <laughs> I looked at how Zubat is looking. Take this. And unfortunately, stop that. Uh, <laughs> I can see why people think uh, have this misconception that Zubat, and the Zubat line is bad because. Kind of isn't Gen 1. <laughs> it doesn't learn any uh, poison type moves. And even Pidgeotto slash Pidgeot is looking better than it as a flying type. As it learns the same flying type move uh, one level later <laughs> than um, Pidgeotto does, unless you don't evolve it for like six extra levels. Well, try any, on anything with its fang. If you see one, it's certain to that 40 more live in the area. I certainly have been, haven't been seeing the other 40. <laughs> What's a nice spice name? Perfect. Ooh. 
Okay. So that's our two catches. So I'll meet you back at Cerulean City. At the pathway we're going to be taking to our fourth gym. This is a bit before we get to the fourth gym, though, but see you there. Ah, oh, glorious. We no longer have to go the long way. Wait, stop, cease. Take that! Always think this is an item, but it's a Voltorb. Oh, Electrode, excuse me. Electrode is loafing around. Ah! Do you ever take a shortcut, but it's actually a long cut? Anyways, here we are on Route. Yeah. Where we will make our way to. Rock Tunnel, Dark Tunnel. The one over there. The one over there that's pitch black. Wait. One second. Video is no longer over. Give me a second. <laughs> so if we come over here and go through Diglett Tunnel, Diglett Cave, Dig Diglett Land. Come out here. I believe down here in is this man. A oh, fainted Pokemon can't fight, but it can still use moves like cut. Nope, not you. Uh, what about you? I'm looking for Shafari. Want to trade for Shimon? No. A downgrade. Huh, isn't it over here? Am I crazy? You? I am bringing up Professor Oak's aid. If you caught 10 kinds of Pokemon, I'm supposed to give you an HMO5. So you caught at least 10 kinds of Pokemon? Yes. Great, you've caught 15 kinds of Pokemon. Congratulations, here you go. And that should be Flash. Not to be confused with the Pokemon. I'm going to cross my fingers. That bell spot can for some reason learn that. Nope. Uh. Anyways. Uh. When's it gonna meet you back at, uh, Shrewing City? There we go. Now we're all set to go. So. Next time, I will find a Pokemon that can hopefully learn. Ah, uh, Cut and Flash. Probably won't. We'll probably have to have two HM users on the team. Uh, but until then. Thanks everyone for watching. I hope you had a fantastic time. And I'll see you all later. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.